This is the old Cockersville marble quarry, which is really a metamorphosed limestone. And theoretically, the geologist that, er, that wrote it up said that this was a hydrothermal deposit where hot water had pushed up and left this deposit. And it's on the old rising farm now, but Ms. Doss, Mr. Doss owns this property now. And although the specimens here, the rocks, are weathered and dark, if you take and open one up, you see you have pink and green with various impurities. You've got epidote and you've got chalcopyrite. So it makes an excellent example of a true metamorphic rock, which marble is. And it's mostly, however, of course, calcium carbonate, which is lime, a limestone. We're going to chop around in here until we find some of that pretty pink that just for fun is appealing and there's certain impurities in there that a mineralization that causes it to be various colors. But you can look in there and see calcopyrite crystals, almost perfect ones. So I guess that's about it. Back when this mine was functional, way back in the 20s and even before that, 1920, uh, they were crushing this rock in their crushes up here, especially I heard that in the 30s, and they were putting it on fields as a liming mixture because it was local and fairly cheap. But they found out later on that there's so many impurities here and the solubility of the lime in the soil made this impractical. So the, the quarry was really abandoned. And so that's why you have all these piled up rocks that they're really difficult to crush. And even if you do crush them, the availability of the lime into the soil is not uh, commercially feasible.